guys, this episode we're going to be talking about how your Rails tests are actually just regular old Ruby code in a class. And we're going to use an example with action cable testing for our example. So we're going to actually be setting up a test to make sure that action cable is connecting to our device user. So what we're going to be looking at here is the application cable connection in our app. We've set it up so it's identified by the current user. And on our connect method, when the WebSocket is connected to Action Cable, then we are going to look up the device user. Specifically, we look at the request environment and look at Warden. And Warden will return an object that responds to the user method, and it will return the currently logged in user or nil. So in this case, we assign it to current user and return that value. And we can log in that user into our Action Cable requests and channels. But if there is no user, we reject unauthorized connection. So we want to basically write a test to make sure that it can pick up that user. So inside of our test folder, if you don't have this, you can go ahead and create it, but there's a channels, application cable, and connection test.rb file that Rails should generate for you for action cable testing. So first things first, I want to point out that our test here is going to inherit from action cable connection test case.